Uh, and of course, next we have Tommy Johansson. Carry on from Angra. I'm not sure if I know this actually. Let's see. All right, there we go. Let's find out if I know it or not. Either way, it will be good. I feel like. Let's go. Oh yeah, it's no. Sorry guys, it's not that I recognized it, but I remember Tommy posting something like like the next one that he was about to post. It will be like a lot of fast shredding and solos and a lot of guitar work in the post, I think. And I think it might be this one. What brand is that guitar from? I don't recognize it. It almost looks like it almost looks like the same uh, logo of Journey Instruments of some of the guitars that I have. It's not obviously, but I mean, it looks similar. Let's keep going. <laughs> Also two layers there, and I think like there just came in a lower riff too. There's two riffs. And the, I don't know if it was bass or if it was just a lower pitch on the guitar too. Yeah. Ooh, the tremolo bar. Oh, it is on the bass. I don't think I have seen him play bass before. Cool. Cool bass too. The fast strumming is so hard to stay consistent with. Man, listen to that. God! How high was that note? I, I cannot even reach it. Oh my god! Love that in this riff, but also the second guitar riff that it complements, they both go down using the tremolo bar, which gives a very almost an uncomfortable feeling when listening. But it it's so I don't know, it's it's unique, it's different. Uh, also, I was about to say sometimes I say a pinch harmonic, and a pinch harmonic is basically when you play strum the string 
but just after you hit the string with your plectrum, a part of your thumb slightly hits the string and it goes into some kind of whistle tone. So yeah. <laughs> So the, the very fast playing that he just has done, it sounds so legato and fluent and that's probably because he uses a lot of hammer-on and pull-off techniques which makes so that you don't have to strum the string every time you play a note. It, it makes it more fluent, otherwise it would sound like really hard and fast to go. It's, it's really fast but it sounds so smooth to go through. Here. I would have to play it in slow motion to actually show it clearly. Bass too. So It is crazy because there is so much focus on the guitars right here that you would sometimes not focus on the voice but that's almost impossible as well because because some of these parts like I said before I could not reach it in head voice what he did with chest or mixed voice ridiculous ridiculous <laughs> Man, the key change. <laughs> what note was that? That was probably even higher than before. Are you serious? Man! Like, I got, I got have to take my words back because, like, I noticed now in this last part, actually, he just makes sure that you can focus on the guitar or on the voices uh, because or it goes crazy on the guitar or it goes crazy on the voices. I don't know. Some of these notes are one of the, probably the highest that I've heard from him. Ah, I'm not sure. It's just so hard. I should I should have a keyboard with me to to just know which pitch it was, but only thing I know is I cannot reach it. <laughs> that is crazy. Marina, thank you so much for this suggestion. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Man.